two months later with the MSI Claw A1M. I can't lie, on release, the performance wasn't where people expected it to be, especially with the likes of the ROG Ally and the Legion Go. However, Intel and MSI have been putting in overtime, releasing bare updates to get this thing working fast. And I can't lie, the latest updates that they've just dropped might have actually done the thing. Yes, yes, people, man like Jamo. Let's get into this real quick. I got some press release from MSI saying that we're looking at up to 30% increase in gaming performance in the top 100 games on Steam at the moment, at the time of this video. Now, on top of that, on the press release, MSI has also stipulated some settings that have been used in all these games to get the performance that they're suggesting this thing is capable of. So they're saying extreme performance mode, over boost mode enabled, 1080p resolution, low graphic setting in all the games that are being played, put the XESS super sampling on performance if it's possible, turn off VSync and turn off the FPS limitation options. Now, with all that said, let's get into some gameplay and see what's actually going on. Now we're gonna start off the ting on easy mode with some Call of the Lamb, a nice, easy to play, low performance requirement game. Um, we're getting over 100 frames per second on this thing, which is exactly what I'd expect to see. I think on the Lenovo Legion Go, I was getting around 120 frames per second. Um, so yeah, a little bit of an increase in performance on top of what the MSI clause given, but yo, it's definitely playable and we can get that high frame rate action, no issues there. Now we're gonna turn up the heat a little piece in terms of performance with Death's Door, another wicked indie game. You guys need to jump on these indie games if you haven't already. We're looking at 75 frames per second plus on this thing, more than enough to play Death's Door. Such a sick, smooth, fluid experience playing this game on the MSI Claw. And it was on the Steam Deck as well, to be honest, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Now on to Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p, low settings, um, you're looking at 30 frames per second plus, which definitely is playable, don't get me wrong, it's not like it was stuttering or anything, it was a very smooth 30 plus frames per second kind of thing, even if it went down to 30 or went back up to 36. Um, if you want any more frames per second than this, you can actually put on FSR and get up to 40, 50 frames per second without changing any settings at all. So um, yeah, no, that was quite interesting. You could definitely look at 60 frames per second by outering them settings and maybe going down to 720p. Now onto some Fallout 4 2015. This is after all the updates and all them thing there that made it Steam Deck verified. We're looking at 85 frames per second and upwards when we're using 1080p low settings kind of thing with all the V-Sync off and that, which is, is okay. Not the best I've seen on a handheld gaming console, especially with the low settings and considering that Fallout 4 is such an old game. But, you know, it's it's all right, it's palatable. And you can turn it up to super ultra settings at 1080p, but you're gonna be looking at around 30 frames per second plus 40 frames per second maximum kind of thing. Now moving on to Ghost of Tsushima, which has been a tricky and demanding game for a lot of systems. Um, I don't think the Intel drivers are ready for Ghost of Tsushima yet. I feel like they need to kind of communicate amongst each other like the studio that made Ghost of Tsushima and flipping Intel and MSI they need they all need to talk fam because the performance is not performing bro we're getting maximum 35 frames per second with dips below 25 frames per second so the whole well this first part of the game this whole cutscene kind of thing or this whole tutorial yeah it's very stuttery and it's weird because there are some parts where i get a steady 50 frames per second plus but then when i look in a different direction yeah it goes back down to like 30 25 and all them things there so i think it is possible for them to get some good performance going on but yeah they just need to work for it and last but not least on to hell divers 2 it's well optimized we already know it runs on the steam deck quite well at 800p at 1080p we're getting 45 frames per second 
all the stuff is on like low settings kind of thing and the, the little performance what, what they call it fam flipping dynamic resolution rendering or whatever that thing is called it doesn't specifically have xcss but i've put it on performance mode and you can get up to 60 frames per second 64 frames per second if you go to ultra performance mode so yeah no definitely playable on the msi claw great performance um i've seen better performance obviously but the fact that it's playable that's all i care about am i getting above 60 yes cool tick a box let's move on and of course we've got to put race driver grid get some racing in there it's not everyday dirt 5 unless it is everyday dirt 5 this game obviously most racing games by cold masters are well optimized at 1080p low settings we're getting obviously 60 frames per second plus i did put the v-sync off but it's still capping at 60 frames per second maximum don't know why but that seems to be what it's doing even if i turn the settings up to medium i'm still getting 60 frames per second maximum if i go up to high settings though it's around 57 to 60 frames per second so i can tell that that's kind of the tipping point for the msi claw but yeah man still definitely really good performance anyway people then that's all man's giving you for now fam obviously we got the new bios and the msi center m update on the msi claw the performance is definitely better than it was at launch um but that's the situation with most gaming handheld pcs anyway so i wouldn't say it's quite near to what we're getting on the legion go and on the rog ally but we're definitely moving forward kind of thing in it i think it's probably going to take a second gen intel um arc gpu to really get things going but at the moment with what we've got going on in the first gen thing they're at least moving in the right direction so i can't complain but anyway let me know if there's any other games you guys want me to specifically test out on the msi claw um i know there's already people that have tested most games but it's always nice to get like a second opinion and um yeah make sure you like subscribe ding that notification bell and hopefully i'll catch you in the next video